Good evening, my Real News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for January 20, 2024. And in the news this evening, man in custody following gun and ammo seizure in St. Anne. One man is in custody following the seizure of an illegal firearm and ammunition during a routine patrol in Bamboo St. Anne on Friday night. He is 28-year-old Chanel Hicklin of King Hill, Bamboo in the parish. Reports are that Hicklin was accosted and searched in the vicinity of Hazelwood Square. A 9mm silver and a black Zestava pistol with a magazine containing 8 rounds and a transparent plastic bag containing an additional 8 rounds were reportedly taken from him. The accused is expected to appear in the St. Anne Parish Court to answer to the charges. Earthquake Unit Reports a Minor Quake A minor earthquake with a magnitude of 3.5 was felt in sections of Jamaica early Saturday morning. The Earthquake Unit at the University of the West Indies says the quake was located approximately 13 kilometers north of Yalas, St. Thomas. It was reportedly felt at 12.49 a.m. across sections of Kingston and St. Andrew. Ammunition found near garbage heap in Clarendon. Several rounds of ammunition were found by the police in an empty property on Brands Crescent in Mipen, Clarendon on Friday. The discovery follows that of 12 rifles and an imitation firearm which were seized at a security post on the Denby's Row ground in Mipen earlier that day. The ammunition was found during an operation to search for illegal firearms by members of the Clarendon Quick Response Team. Information reaching the news indicate that around 10.38 a.m., the police team acting on information went to the property on Brands Crescent where a search led to the discovery. Nine 9 mm rounds and 10.38 rounds were found locked in a plastic bag near a garbage heap. No one was arrested for this seizure, the police said. Manchester man wanted for attempted murder of ex-girlfriend. The Manchester police have named a 30-year-old Romaine Powell, otherwise called Romy or Biggs, of Top Hill District, Kendall, Manchester, as wanted after he reportedly attempted to murder his ex-girlfriend. The incident occurred on Caledonia Road in the parish on Wednesday. Reports are that about 10 p.m., the woman was at work when she was allegedly pounced upon by Powell, who was armed with a machete. He subsequently used the machete to chop her several times before escaping in the area. The police were alerted and she was taken to hospital, where she was admitted in serious condition. The Mandeville CIB is urging Powell to turn himself into the police immediately. Meanwhile, the police are asking anyone with information that can assist them with their investigations to contact them at 876-962-2832, the police 119 emergency number, crime stop at 311, the NIB tip line at 811 or the nearest the police station. Up help herself to run as independent candidate after being dropped by PNP. Despite not being named among the People's National Party's candidates for the expected local government election, Up help herself, the council for the Yorktown Division in the Clarendon Municipal Corporation, says he plans to run as an independent candidate. On Friday, news emerged that Pastor Anthony Davis had been selected by the party to contest the upcoming local government election constitutionally due by February 28. In an interview with the news, Purcell, who was a video recorded in a compromising position last year, say he may not have been selected by the PNP to be their representative, but he will still be on the ballot when Jamaicans go to the polls. I will be on the ballot when it comes that day, when election call. I will nominate and I will run because I'm not giving up my position, he said. I will be running as an independent with all options opened wide wide. I will be on the ballot, no doubt about it, one way or the other. Purcell went on to share that when he was informed of the party's decision to no longer use him, he objected as he had been initially informed that he would be their candidate of choice. They did contact me and we talked, and they told me they wanted to use the other man. I may tell them semi object because I was officially engaged and certified as the candidate, he said. But Luthan Cousins, member of parliament for Clarendon Southwestern, told the news that the party told Purcell he would not be selected as their candidate several months ago. 
Cousins insisted that the decision was not a personal, but was one made from polls and the signs. It was made clear to the councillor that the decision wasn't a personal one, but was based on the polling that was done and the sounding that was done. Political parties operate based on signs, they don't operate based on feelings, he said. Purcell has been the councillor for the division since 1998. He found himself at the center of a controversy in March 2023 when a sex tape went viral. In the 64-second footage that caused the social media storm following its release, a nude Purcell is seen pleasuring himself for the other person on the call. Brinkley charged with making false claims vacationing in Jamaica. A United States woman who claimed that a man assaulted her with a brick outside a Houston club and was later charged with a felony theft by deception after she raised more than U.S. $40,000 through GoFundMe, is said to be vacationing in Jamaica. Despite Rhoda Osman, 33, being charged, she was not arrested as according to U.S. officials. Her whereabouts are currently unknown to authorities. In a post to social media, Osman is seen in a room wearing a bikini. She said she is taking back her life, brick by brick, pun intended. She went on to say that after the incident in which she claimed that she was struck with a brick by a man, she was afraid to go to the mailbox. According to NBC News, in September, Osman posted on social media following an alleged altercation in front of a club saying that she was assaulted by a man who hit her with a brick after she turned down his advances. The post, which did not include footage of the alleged assault, went viral, launching debates online about whether her story was to be believed. Charging documents revealed that the Harris County District Attorney's Office Police responded to the incident in September. Osman said she was hit in the face with a brick by an unknown man because she would not share her phone number with him. Osman also said that she got into a car that she thought was an Uber and that the driver tried to kidnap her, the report stated. According to the document, she said the driver tried to hit her, an NBC reporter read. Weeks later, the detective who wrote an affidavit for the district attorney's office reviewed a local surveillance footage of the moment leading up to the incident. In the video, Osman was spotted with a friend and the man she later identified as the person who hit her. They got into a car together and then exited the car. The detective said the footage showed Osman slapping the man and then he hit her back with a water bottle in his hand, it added. The report went on to quote Keith Houston from the Harris County District Attorney's Office who said, We think that's what left the mark on her face. Her GoFundMe account has since been deactivated. GoFundMe has zero tolerance for the misuse of our platform and cooperates with law enforcement investigations of those accused of wrongdoing, a spokesperson for GoFundMe said in a statement to NBC News. The fundraiser has been removed from the platform, all donors have been refunded, and Rhoda Osman has been banned from using the platform for any future fundraisers. Men narrowly escape serious injuries after car caught a fire. Two men narrowly escaped a serious injuries and a possible death after a motor car they were traveling in caught a fire at a portergate in Westmoreland on Saturday afternoon. The incident happened shortly after 12 noon. The news understands that the driver of the Toyota Corolla heard an unusual sound and pulled over. I heard puff and when I look I saw fire coming from the bottom of the vehicle and the occupants banged the car. Me tell them jump out, jump out. A man who claimed to witness managed to retrieve a music console from the burning vehicle. One unit from the Savannah Lamar fire station responded to the fire and put out the blaze. The men escaped unhurt.